Hi there, students. A glossary. A glossary. Okay, a glossary is like a list of words um, with meanings um, at the end of a text or even beside the text to help you understand. So the glossary includes words that are difficult to understand. Um, and it helps you to read it. So um, a technical manual might have a glossary of technical terms at the end. So it's, it's like a mini dictionary, a mini technical dictionary um, that goes with something that's been published. Yeah, it's a list of difficult technical words, foreign words, unusual words, formal words with explanations of their meanings. But these are the ones that appear in the original document. OK, so a gloss, each glossary is related to the, a specific text or a specific dialect with explanations. So, for example, um, if you read a sonnet by William Shakespeare, you may have a glossary of words at the end of the sonnet of words which are difficult to understand, which most people don't know. It's just um, an extra little dictionary or an index at the end to um, help you to understand the difficult thing. Um, it's a dictionary of terms specific to the subject that um, the, the document or the book is about. So if you're um, you, you're talking about medicine, there will be a medical glossary at the end of the text. I think nowadays in, in the, the, this age of internet, there are normally hyperlinks on words that are difficult to understand so that you can uh, get them. It's a, effectively a, a collection of um, words in a text and their meanings, but the words that normal people are going to have difficulty with. It's a collection of textual glosses. Now, this use of gloss, a gloss, is in itself quite interesting. It, it's talking about a, a brief explanation, um, a gloss, a brief explanation in the margin or between the lines of a text in order to explain something difficult, something obscure, something that's that's not obvious. And this is where your glossary comes from. It's a, a list full of glosses. It's got special, unusual, technical jargon words. Um, normally, it's an alphabetical list at the, at the end of a book on a particular subject. And what is in the glossary, it, it depends what the subject is about. Um, so there's a glossary of terms frequently used uh, w within uh, this type, th this uh, th this pamphlet. Um, let's see. You could have a core glossary. A core glossary is a simple. It's a simple dictionary, a defining dictionary that defines the concepts or the most important concepts, the most common idioms, metaphors, jargon used in a specific field. So you could have a, a, a medical glossary about skin diseases, or you could have a glossary about um, the uh, the, the the Portuguese language spoken in Brazil. It can it's effectively the terminology explaining the term terminology. It's um, glossed with synonyms or near synonyms to show you uh, how it how it uh, what it means, so that you don't actually have to go to uh, a dictionary and look them up or go to internet. Um, OK, so a vocabulary of obsolete, antiquated, foreign, unusual, different words. OK, so formality glossary. 6.5 in formality. Use it uh, in a semi-formal conversation, semi-formal or formal writing. Um, and then as to origin, it comes from ancient Greek, glossa, meaning the tongue 
Okay, um, so from Latin glossarium, a glossary in itself. So enough, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Glossary.